Good afternoon, my dear students. How is everything with you? Today, inshallah, we are going to speak about a new poem which is called The Sparrow. The Sparrow was written by Paul Lawrence Dunbar. Actually, who, is, who was or who is uh, Paul Lawrence Dunbar? Let's go and see who is the poet. Let's know about some, some about this poet. Paul Lawrence Dunbar was an African-American who was seeking literary success and equality for blacks. As you know, in, uh, he was born in 1872 and died in 1906. So uh, he didn't live for long. And he was born in a time where racial discrimination in America was at the top, to the peak. He was born into a former slave family and using their stories helped him gain national recognition. This is the man. Paul Lawrence Dumba wrote many poems. Many of these gained national recognition such as Lyrics of Lowly Life, Walks are from Dixie, The Uncle, Lyrics of Heart Tide, and Poems of the Cabin, and also Sympathy, which was uh, one of his most famous poems um, till now. Dumba tried to defend the blacks all the time and being born into a family of former slaves, he found many of his inspirations from the stories that his parents have told them about their experience. In addition to being born into a former slave family, he was also born in a period of time where being any other color than white was a daily struggle, always fighting off racial discrimination, which later helped him to write the poem Sympathy, which actually focused on the idea of racial discrimination and how nature deals with people more uh, better than uh, uh, dealing with uh, human beings. Our poem today is called The Sparrow and it speaks also about freedom as you say. The sparrow is a kind of a bird which has a very weak sound and but it, in the same time it is very uh, beautiful. Let's first uh, hear and watch this video about the sparrow, and then let's start our poem after this, um, uh, this video. The sparrow. Let's watch the video. The sparrow. Paul Lawrence Dunbar. A little bird with plumage brown Beside my window flutters down A moment chirps his little strain Then taps upon my window pane And chirps again and hops along To call my notice to its song But I work on, nor heed its lay Till in neglect it flies away. So birds of peace and hope and love come fluttering earthward from above to settle on life's window sills and ease our load of earthly ills. But we in traffic's rush and din too deep engaged to let them in with deadened heart and sense plod on nor know our loss till they are gone okay this is the end of our uh, this is the end of the poem the poem as you see is so short and paul uh, used uh, a specific or a uh, um, kind of sophisticated rhyme scheme, which is A, 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 B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, and then A, 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 A. So we ended his poem as he started his poem. Let's have a look at the poem again with a kind of analysis, and then we will move to the explanation and the rhyme scheme of the poem. This is the poem again. 
A little bird with plumage brown beside my window flutters down. A moment chirps its little strain, then taps upon my window pane, and chirps again and hopes along to call my notice to its song. But I work on no heed its lay, telling neglected flies away. So birds of peace and hope and love come fluttering earthward from above to sell on life's window sills and ease our load of earth yells. But we in traffic's rushing then, too deep engaged to let them in, with deadened heart and sense plot on, nor know our loss till they are gone. Here, uh, actually, Paul spoke about a, a bird, a sparrow bird, which was standing and fluttering its wings outside his window or the window of his room. But because he was so busy, he didn't give him any attention or even looked at him. And the end, because uh, he didn't pay attention to it, the bird flew away. So he started calling the bird again when he recognized that the bird flew away. And he said, bird of peace and hope and love, come fluttering earthward from above. Earthward means toward the, the earth. And settle on life's window sills, stand again outside my window and ease our load of earthly ills and ease and comfort us leaving and let's let us forget uh, what we have uh, from uh, as a pain from the world and then he blamed himself saying but we in traffic's rushing then because we are so busy all the time too deep engaged to let the men we are, we are, as humans, are engaged in all the affairs of life. And we don't recognize even let, letting these birds in to chirp for us, to flutter around us, to amuse us, to comfort us, to let us forget every pain around us. With deadened heart and sense plod on, he said that as humans, we heart, our heart, our hearts are dead. We are hard-hearted people, and our senses are working so slowly, so we don't feel even the beauty of nature around us, nor know our loss till they are gone. So we don't have even a sense to feel and know how much is the loss when this bird flies away. The, the vocabulary of um, uh, the poem here, the word plumage means the feathers of the bird, flutters to flap the wings rapidly, chirp is to make the sound of a bird, uh, the word strain means tune, uh, heed means to pay attention, earthward means toward the earth, uh, window sills, uh, this is the horizontal member on uh, the bottom of the window opening this part, this horizontal uh, part at the bottom of a window uh, opening. Uh, the word den means uh, to speak loudly or to make a loud noise or a loud noise if it is uh, a loud continued noise if it is a noun. Plot means to work very slowly. So this is the explanation of the poem, The Sparrow, uh, written by Paul uh, Lawrence. Again, uh, what is uh, the rhyme scheme? The rhyme scheme of this poem is A, 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 B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, A, 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 A. So this is the rhyme scheme that Paul Lawrence Dunbar um, uh, made in this poem in order to make it like uh, a song. Uh, another, uh, let's have further explanation 
uh, in this present presentation about the song. Again, the song or the poem, I'm sorry. A little bird with plumage brown beside my window flutters down. A, mo a moment tours its little strain, then taps upon my window pane and chirps again and hops along to call my notice to its song. But I work on, nor heed its lay, till in neglect it flies away. So bursts of peace and hope and love come fluttering earthward from above to sell our lives window sills and ease our load of earthly ills. But we, in traffic's rushing then, too deep engaged to let them in, with dead and heart and sense plot on, nor know our lost till they are gone. So this is the poem. Again, the poem, uh, uh, the, sp the sparrow, is about a little brown sparrow who is, which is perched upon a person's windowsill. But the person is too busy to notice the sparrow. Then the poem launches into a deeper meaning on how we should respect and cherish nature while it lasts. The theme of this poem is that nature is all around us, beautiful and prosperous, but people nowadays are so wrapped up in their own lives. They are so busy. They are not free in order to recognize the beauty of nature around them. They do not appreciate all that nature has offered or has to offer. So this is uh, the theme of the poem. Pay attention to nature. Forget about your business and try to focus somehow on the beauty of nature that comfort, comforts you and that uh, may put you in ease, actually, because they give this nature gives you love, give, gives you peace, gives you everything you want in order to relieve you from uh, uh, the, the pains and the harms of life. Okay, so this is exactly uh, uh, the end of our uh, session today. Don't forget to study hard, find the resources on the uh, Google Drive, and uh, do your assignment on time in order to uh, be on the track. Uh, thank you for listening and hope you all the best. Have a, a nice vacation uh, and bye-bye.